A voltage divider circuit uses a sensor that is a variable resistor in series with a fixed resistor located inside the module. As the variable resistance changes, the voltage divides across the two resistors and the module reads the voltage across the sensor. The signal can have a range of values, typically between 0 and 5 volts, so it produces an analog DC signal. A temperature sensor circuit is an example of a voltage divider circuit. A thermistor is a variable resistor that changes resistance when temperature changes. It provides temperature information to a module. The signal can have a range of values, typically between 0 and 5 volts, so it produces an analog DC signal. A potentiometer is a type of variable resistor that changes in response to position. It provides information about the position of a component to the module. The signal can have a range of values, typically between 0 and 5 volts, so it produces an analog DC signal. A variable reluctance sensor uses magnetism to generate a voltage signal. It provides position and speed information to a module. The voltage varies between positive and negative values, so it produces an analog AC signal. A piezoresistive sensor is a variable resistor that changes resistance in response to pressure. It provides information about pressure to a module. The signal can have a range of values, typically between 0 and 5 volts, so it produces an analog DC signal. A phototransistor is an electronic input device that acts like a switch, except it is activated by light. The signal is either on or off, so it produces a digital DC signal. A photoresistor is a variable resistor that changes resistance in response to light. It provides information about light intensity to a module. The signal can have a range of values, typically between 0 and 5 volts, so it produces an analog DC signal. A Hall effect sensor is an input device that produces voltage when a magnetic field is present. It may be used to measure RPM or provide information on the position of moving parts. The signal is either on or off, so it produces a digital DC.